need to I get know, your more reviews, though. What's I that? Know Wrangler I need to get you more reviews. Different. You only have two, and none of them are written. Yeah, but they're good ones. I, I was, I, I saw that, and I'm like, you know what? The more, not everybody's going to see it as a five star book. Mm-hmm. So I should just enjoy the fact that it says five stars now while it does, because the more it's going to like, going to have some variance. Yeah. So right now, I could sit here and go, I have a five star rating on Amazon. I still got to read it before I can review it. Yeah. But speaking of reviews, uh, Readout, you brought you brought this uh, website up. I think oh, a couple yeah. weeks ago. The, yeah, which one? Oh yes, four foundations. Foundation yes. four. Four foundations. The four, four Fs. Four the four oh, Fs. Fs. But I I'm gonna do something I don't do all too often. Brag. <laughs> Look at all that content. Yes. Nice. That is but, awesome. Yeah, that's but, that's King the, Bob's site. Yes, uh, King Bob left this review. He said, I knew I wanted to read this book just from seeing the cover. Two determined children and one with a potato gun strapped to her wrist. What's not to like? I found this to be one of the most enjoyable books I've read in quite some time. I really didn't want to put it down. The characters were interesting and easy to relate to. The plot wasn't overly convoluted, but also not too plain and boring. And it was a lot of fun to read. I know I would have enjoyed this when I was younger, and I plan on buying copies for my nieces and nephews to read. If you like stories of real people and strong kids who could take the weight of the, of the world but still come off as kids just trying to survive, this is your book. If you like stories about people taking on an invading alien army, this is your book. If you like stories about heroes, magic, cat magic, gods and monsters, this is your book. If you just want a story that your kid could get into, this is your book. The only problem I had with this book was that it ended and left me wanting more, especially about a certain character that I won't spoil for you. Luckily, there's another one on the way. Highly recommend this book. I read this and I was just stunned. I I can't believe somebody would put that kind of a review on something that I made. You know, I was like, whoa. Well, I I know for a fact that after he read um, uh, Bad Kitty, he went and actually ordered more copies and sent them to his nieces and nephews. Oh, wow. Yeah, he he told me. I was like, uh, you'd think I'd be sitting here puffing my chest and going, (laughs) yeah, but no, I was actually more humbled by it. I was just kind of floored, you know? Mm -hmm. I was just glad he had such good time reading it. I hope I can... uh, I hope I didn't r- put the bar too high for the second one. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I read, it's it seems like you're on a good note. Yeah, it, it sounds like a fun read. Yeah, but I think it is, but I, I'm biased. <laughs> However, if you look through, we got Brian Asher, Daniel P. Riley, Michael G- Gallagher, James Craig, uh, Dr. Becky Smethurst, that that name sounds familiar. I'm not familiar with her book or whatever, but that name sounds very familiar. Uh, Who do we have here? Andrew Clavin. Hey, Herman P. Hunter, he's in here. (laughs) Donovan Walker. A whole bunch of Black Knight. (laughs) Let's read Herman's review. Yes. But warning, Bob can be brutal if he doesn't like it. (laughs) He's a king. He can do those things. Exactly. Okay. For, for Herman P. Hunter's book, The Revenant in the Tomb. If you're a fan of fantasy novels, you will probably enjoy this book. It's a brief tale about three mysterious characters, Hal Cedric, Tolvgir, and Hero, Hero Diani, and their mission to search out a treacherous tomb. I know, obviously, it's not like it's in, not in the title. Our heroes are led by an old guy, Drum, a man who is a drum or drum. Uh, I know? always read it as drum, but I can uh, be if, if, if Herman's able to show uh, show up, we can ask him. A man who has a very interesting way of speaking, to say the least. <laughs> yeah, that may be a hang-up for some people, but I rather enjoyed it. I imagined him speaking with a Gaelic accent. The book started off a little slow for me, but I quickly found myself getting into the story and the characters. By the end of the book, I was certainly l- longing to know more. Always the mark of a good story. This book has plenty of action and suspense with a healthy dose of intrigue, but not a lot of comedy or romance. Overall, I found it to be a quick and easy read. However, and I can I can understand how some people may have a problem with the dialect 
of some of the dialogue. That and the, and the slower start are my only real gripes with the book. So if you're looking for a quick fantasy read, this is a great way to go. Now we just have to wait for the sequel. Yeah, we do. Thankfully, he is doing a sequel. I, I guess he wasn't originally planning to make a second, right? I, I don't know. I know he's been pushing the Sorcerer and the Stone one more right now. Yeah, well, that's the one that came out. So, And and he's doing really well with that. And I think that doing well actually kind of starts lifting this one is too. Any others you want to look through? Um, Hold on, is Dr. Becky, is that a YouTube channel? Is this is this a YouTuber? I don't know. That sounds like it might be. Hold on, I gotta mute my phone. Oh, Just that's you? Won't stop messaging me. You, you sound important tonight. <laughs> Which is weird. <laughs> I'm not. Nobody, nobody wants to talk to me until I'm on air with you guys. Well, obviously you're important. You're on air with us. <laughs> I'd rather be on air with you guys. Dr. Becky. All Dr. sorts of space Walker. stuff. I'm going to guess the two are, might they might be the same one. I don't not know. I'm what? Ivory Soap, it is. Let's see. Channel. Let's go over to the about stuff. I don't see the about. There it is. Because if it's her book, it might be listed in here. It is. It's the same. It's the same. Okay, I knew it sounded familiar. Now I just got to figure out where that other tab was. Yeah, it's in the description. There I have also go. written a few books. My latest, a brief history of black holes, is available in hardback, ebook, and audio. She narrated. 